One of the easiest openings to learn in modern chess theory for white is the king's Indian attack. Now what makes it so easy to learn? There are no forced variations and there is a one general plan that goes throughout the most of this opening. Well only very seldom when black chooses some unorthodox way of developing in the early stage, white has to vary and be flexible as well. That's very uh, the well based on positional principles and uh, very solid opening that you start in a slow, that develops in a slow phase and white has a good chance of getting very strong and powerful attack. Well, just to mention, this opening was uh, uh, adapted by some of the world's top players in the world. By Michael Tal played it, uh, Bobby Fischer played it, David Bronstein played it, and they had some very good, great results. Well, I'm not putting them on. I'm not putting myself on their level, but I was very. Uh, big fan of it and I played myself this opening also very well. I wouldn't play if I didn't believe strong and every opening I do suggest I believe deeply in it. So get comfortable and learn one of the easiest openings that you can adapt within a days. King's Indian attack one of the easiest opening to get. Even if you play e4 which looks like you're going to play some uh, other opening, Rui Lopez, a 2 knights defense. And after e6, if you can go d3 followed by knight d2, knight f3, g3 and bishop g2, you're most likely going to get king's Indian attack. Or you can start with e4 if they play c5 against you. Again, you can go d3, knight d2, knight f3, g3. The, this is probably the most, the easiest opening to get in the uh, um, whole opening uh, encyclopedia. So you don't have to start with e4. You can go with knight f3, which is probably the most popular way to play um, uh, to get the King's Indian attack and then you go g3 bishop g2 just like you play King's Indian for black with knight f6 knight f6 g6 bishop g7 only you do it with an extra tempo so let's look at some critical positions of King's Indian attack so if we go knight f3 and your opponent goes d5, g3, and they may go like c5, bishop g2, knight f6, castle, and knight c6. Now, here is the position that we, <clears throat> we can go d4 or c4, but we are not going to discuss this because this, those are completely different openings. So we are concentrating only on d3. Now, if white play, if black plays e5, we have 100% uh, position, transposition to the king's Indian opening, king's Indian defense, with reversed colors where white now has an extra tempo. There are interesting ways white can use this extra tempo for developing an initiative. One of the wa ways is c4. <clears throat> That's an interesting move. Now black has I think two reasonable choices, actually three reasonable choices to go d4, to go bishop e7, or to play d takes c. Now if black plays d takes c the best answer for white is to go queen a4 and now we have transposition to some other opening, which is kind of a Marozzi bind with uh, black played 
bishop d7 and bishop now black has to do something against white's threat knight takes e5 they can of course go bishop to d6 but we're still gonna play queen takes c4 and if black castles this is for players who like those type of positions who this is uh, for players who play king's indian attack and who may go bishop g5 here uh, the accelerated dragon so they go they can go bishop g5 knight c3 and they have reasonably good comfortable game now let's look at couple of other continuations couple of other continuations here after c4 are d4 and then what we should do here we may go e3 and after bishop e7 we may go e takes d and if e takes d then rook e1 and if c takes d here um, white is simply gonna have a good position even after playing b4 that's an interesting move it's a strictly tactical shot because black did not castle on bishop takes before notice that knight takes before simply is not good because white takes central pawn on e5 and if bishop takes before then we have very simple combination knight takes e5 knight takes e5 and queen a4 check winning the bishop on b4 and white is going to have very good position for example on bishop d7 queen takes b4 well not to mention that white also has um, the option of playing in this position for example knight takes e5 well after actually after b4 knight takes b4 knight, uh, knight takes e5 or bishop takes b4 knight takes e5 in both cases white has certain initiative well let's look at this continuation queen a4 and on bishop d7 queen takes b4 and if black tries to win this pawn now they have a they, they are a pawn up but that's not recommended way to play for black because first of all white can play queen takes b7 which is very good and get their pawn back or white can play simply queen a3 and black has difficulties castling and pawn on b7 is hanging white is doing very well so this is those are like a briefly couple of variations i just showed you that may occur if uh, <coughs> if black tries to play like a regular uh, king's indian if black tries to play like white in in king's indian attack so most likely when you play knight f3 and knight f6 very popular for black after g3 is d5 continuation and when we go bishop g2 bishop f5 castle and then c6 now this is known as very solid continuation for uh, black and uh, this is known like as white has no advantage here I will di dispute it. I don't. I agree that white does not have a big advantage, but I think white has a couple of interesting ways to get some initiative. For example, d3 or even c4, e6, c takes d, e takes d. Now, if we go knight c3 and after bishop e7, d3. Uh, what can happen here is that after castle we can go queen c2 or even rook e1 or maybe even knight d4 and on bishop g6 e4 now those are very interesting this is very interesting continuation for uh, white and i think white can fight for an opening and for an opening uh, advantage here 
the other continuations may be like rook e1, bishop f4, and also for e4. Since white has, in a way, kind of a, 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 an extra pawn in its center, they may have to try to take advantage of it. Well, those are all possible continuations. Also, for those who like slow maneuvering game, I may recommend after knight f3, d5, g3, knight f6, bishop g2, and bishop f5, I may recommend uh, direct game to a very slow pace. Uh, d3, h6, preparing bishop h7. Now you can go b3, and after c6, bishop b2, and on bishop e7, knight d2. And when black castles, you go c4. Now, this is going to be very positional maneuvering game. If black goes knight d7, we can go rook c1. Then we can go queen c2. Uh, and eventually going to go a3, maybe b4. Maybe knight d4 and e4. Or maybe e4 right away. So this is... We cannot go, we cannot really analyze this this position because unlike any other opening that I have covered on DVDs, this opening, all I can show you here are the plans. Plans that white have and plans that black may have. So this position we just looked is approximately equal. I think white has tiny bit of initiative. Now, let's go with knight f3, d5, g3, knight f6, bishop g2, e6, castling, bishop e7, d3, castled, and this position, this position probably is the most common way to play for black against king's Indian attack. And why? Because you're not going to get this position with this exact same move order. But this is common. Let me explain why. This, is, this position itself is common because this position you may get from French defense when you go knight f3 or d3, d5, knight d2, knight f6, g3, and that's how you get it from French defense because eventually when the position will look you're gonna go e4 and this also this exact same position you can easily picture that you can get also from the Sicilian defense e4 c5 and then you go d3 and you're gonna get the same position so let's look at this position closely. There are some fine points how to play these positions and I will try to um, explain it and I will try to lay all this position out. e4 c5 let's randomly we take it in this order knight f3 e6 d3 d5 knight d2 uh, knight c6 or knight f6, it doesn't make difference, g3, now maybe knight f6, bishop g2, and after bishop e7, castle, l and castle. This is one way. This is one way to play this position. Of course, there are some other ways like playing b6 also for black, but let's get the most common, the most primitive way to play for black and let's see what we can do here okay what we can do here we're gonna have to close this position with e5 uh, center well you can do e5 right away or you can do rookie one I don't think it's gonna change much e5 knight d7 rookie one and if black attacks queen c7 you go queen e2 now our e5 pawn is secure, it's protected, and black can't attack e5 pawn anymore. 
white will is going to pursue with the, its plan unless black wants to go f6 but that's attacking this pawn but on the other hand this pawn is going to be exchanged now black takes with the knight now this position i think is clearly better for white there are several ways to play the way i like to play is knight f1 followed by bishop f4 and if black goes bishop d6 then we can go maybe h4 on bishop h3 maybe h4 and knight h2 trying to get knight to g4 because any time black goes e5 here uh, after knight g5 they or even bishop g5 followed by c4 you see white is gonna put some pressure on black's d5 pawn maybe even by playing knight e3 and if black pushes that pawn that creates a lot of weaknesses on c4 square and e4 square for uh, white's pieces this is simple strategy and on a, um, a weak squares so this position i like for white very much now let's look what will happen if black does not try to play f6 if black doesn't play f6 then obviously they should try to create some play on the queen side suppose they go b5 and start the pawn storm on queen side then we're gonna go knight f1 so our knight heading towards the king side black goes a5 we will go h4 now suppose black goes bishop b7 we can go bishop f4 it's uh, we're just concluding development black goes b4 we go knight h2 black goes a4 now this position uh, was played by Fisher. Fisher actually played several times and won some very nice games uh, playing the King's Indian attack. The correct way, how should white pursue attack? What is the plan? How do you go with this attack? Okay, the way to attack black in this position is knight g5. This is the most active way. What you want to do, you want black to play h6. Once black plays h6, even if you retreat the knight to f3, black has serious weakness on h6 because white may go knight g4 and later on sacrifice on h6 or maybe even play g4 and g5 opening some files or maybe h5 followed by g5 opening some files on a king side after knight g5 if black takes the knight then we will take with h and now this position is really bad for black actually i would sh i should say this position is lost what because white what can what white can do is go knight g4 pawn on g5 is very strong bishop f3 uh, of course we have to watch out for knight d4 move May, uh, maybe even we can go knight g4 and knight f6 check right away or we can go knight g4 bishop f3 if knight is not on c6 if knight is on c6 we can always exchange that and go c3 somehow you have to stop knight d4 when after you go bishop f3 and king g2 bringing rook on h1 and using h file will be absolutely deadly for black